It's time now for my alternative news headlines. The government are going to act tough with Vladimir Putin over his planned invasion of Ukraine. A raft of measures being considered include removing visas from suspected Russian criminals in London, a possible boycott of Russian businesses. And if that doesn't work, we're going to send our most lethal weapon to Russia. Apparently, Moscow has a great Pizza Express. Kim Jong-un is in the news. The North Korean leader has made hundreds of people stand in the freezing cold to hear a speech about his father whilst he and his cronies had secret heaters. Personally, I'm devastated by this story. Up till now, he seemed like such a great guy. Sakir Starmer is in hot water after being accused of sneering at the city of Coventry after scoffing about how a strike in the area would not be a big problem. Now, I think this is deeply unfair on Starmer, I've got to say. There's there's no way that a member of the Labour shadow cabinet would ever be snobby about this country. Meanwhile, in the world of music, Ed Sheeran has been granted permission to build a burial chamber underneath the church being constructed in the grounds of his £3.7 million Suffolk estate. It's thought items going into the chamber will be family artefacts, historic objects from Suffolk, and with any luck, his first three albums. The Daily Record north of the border report that a Scottish woman, that's right, a Scottish woman flashed her penis and a sex toy in public, leaving onlookers shocked. Well, you know what they say, girls just want to have fun. And finally, bonkers conspiracy theorists have been picking up on recent articles in the press suddenly appearing about lots of unexpected things that can cause a heart attack. Genuine stories have included the risk of taking paracetamol, you know, that rather experimental new medication, or shoveling snow, apparently gives you a heart attack. Snow joke. Well, we will have no conspiracy theorists here on Mark Dolan tonight. So our team of entirely unscientific experts on the show have put together a definitive list of things that may give you cardiac trouble. Here goes. Look out for these things, folks. Smiling, that's asking for trouble. Listening to the song YMCA. Thinking about meat, that's dangerous. Speaking to your neighbour, be careful. Being in a lift, absolutely perilous. Watching Die Hard 2. Playing table tennis. And the last, which is absolutely devastating, too much lettuce.